this video was supposed to be me taking this Audi S6 to the drag strip. So, I got my TSW wheels on with my Mickey Thompsons in the rear and my Nittos in the front. These are 20 by 9s and 18 by 9.5 in the rear. 275, 35, 275, 45, both drag radials. If you know from previous videos, uh, you'll know that there's a weak point on these cars, and that is the rear axles. So uh, I went over to Mexico real quick to just do one test hit. Uh, my test hit did not go so well. Chris is flat towing me now. S6 is very broken, as you can hear. Now in that clip, you'll notice we're flat towing. Uh, that is illegal in Massachusetts, but we were in Mexico, so it doesn't matter. We actually didn't have to take it that far. AAA said it was going to be three hours to show up, so we kind of risked it for the biscuit, you know? All right. See that axle up there? That axle right there. Come on. That axle is completely destroyed. There is all sorts of gunk all over the place. My camera is really struggling to focus because it's so dark. But uh, we are not going to the track on Sunday. We've decided we're going to go to the track. Now Fernando has decided to get the axle loose. we got to get the old one out. Good timing. Oh, yeah. All day. And Billy got us an axle literally same day. So, we're almost back in the game. So, we made it to the track. Fernando just made his first pass. Went 11-1 at 71 miles an hour. I don't know why. Maybe uh, it's a little fast. But uh, we got the boys behind me. I got to get out somehow. Um, I might be able to sneak out of there. We're making our first pass. I don't have the draggy set up or anything. I'm just going to run the GoPro and hopefully Trent fills it from the outside. We're hoping for 10s. I think it's probably going to do like 11-2. No traction. But we're going to try some things. Here we go, fingers crossed. Go, girl. She was breaking up a lot. Now, uh, my buddy Fernando, who's over there in his TTRS, just ran 11-1, uh, and then he just went 10-2, um, both times letting off. We're trying not to get him kicked out too soon. You need a cage to run under 10s or above 135 miles an hour. That car is uh, stage one, so it moves pretty good. Uh, but uh, Fernando helped me get the axle in last night, so uh, I'm not on the slicks today. I'm just on the street tires, um, and I'm trying to take it easy. Uh, my first pass, I went out. Uh, I just brake torqued it in sport. I didn't even turn traction control off, and it left really well, but when I popped it over to manual, so it, essentially what I'm trying to do is the car is shifting at 6,000 RPMs in the AMAX program. I'm trying to override the uh, AMAX or the maximum acceleration uh, program and get it to rev out in third and fourth higher so it's not shifting into fifth before the line because that's what's costing me uh, a little bit of mile an hour and some time as well. Um, but when I popped it over to third, it started like really kind of popping and banging and not being happy. So I'm going to set up the log. We're going to go run another pass uh, and we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Yeah, she's not happy. Something's not right. All right, so at this point, pretty frustrated with the car. Uh, we looked at the logs and the car was closing throttle on you know various points throughout the run uh, because the car was running out of fuel. So uh, I'm in this weird situation where I have summer quality ethanol, it's like E80 in the tank uh, with minus 2200 DAs. And so the high pressure fuel pumps just can't keep up. The solution was simply mix in a gallon and a half of 93 octane, bring me down into the E60 range. Uh, and I put it on the brake torque the next pass and went for it. All right, here we go. Go, oh, girl! Come on! Let's go! That's what we needed! What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? 11.3 at 120. Okay, we got the mile an hour, Trent. Now we just yeah. need the uh, 60 foot. 
Well, there's no one up. Just I say run it again while it's hot. Run it twice? It ran yeah. really well. It felt good. All right. Say screw it. Do it again. I'm going to put it on the launch control this time, and uh, we'll see if our axles hold in. All right. Let's do it. All right. Hot lap, baby. All right, tell me the axles don't leave. All right, definitely not as good of a 60 foot. I think I'm better just leaving off of uh, sport mode with track control on, a little brake, a little gas, but we didn't snap an axle, so I would call that success. Thank you very much. Yep. No way! 10-9 to 125, let's go! 10-9! My first ever 10. No way. Oh, let's go! My first ever, that's the first 10 I've ever ran ever. No way. I gotta let it cool down and, and drop some tire pressure. No way. I put it on the launch control, it didn't snap an axle, it almost went 10 8. Not bad for a stage one tune. <laughs> some down pipes and an intake. 10-9, baby! Yeah! Let's go! Woo! Oh, I put on the launch control. All right, here we go. Last pass of the day. I think. I took some air out of the tires. We took all of the crap out of the inside of the car. We took everything out of here. So hopefully she hooks up. Please hook up. The track feels sticky. squeaked it by the, the the skin of my teeth but two tens back to back my car really smells like coolant right now i don't know if we blew a coolant line off or what so we didn't blow off a coolant line it was just a little bit of coolant that had vented from the expansion tank kind of weird if you ask me i've looked online some people are saying it might be the thermostat i don't know i'll have to see if i can repeat the issue i haven't had any weird temperature coolant temperature issues since then um, but I won't bore you guys with the super long outro. Um, if you've been around the channel for a while, you know how much a 10 second pass means to me. Uh, I've been chasing it for the past three cars I've owned now. The uh, S4, I went 11.7 at 117. The SQ5, I went 11.3 at 119. Uh, and now finally, uh, 10.92 at 125.7 miles an hour, I believe. Um, and then backed it up with another 10 second pass. We will get the car squared away uh, and we're coming back out swinging in the spring. Uh, can't promise it'll be on stock turbos, but we'll see. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching this video and sorry for the delay in uploading it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go out there and spread some positivity and I will catch you guys in the next video. Yeah! There we go.